good morning. I'm going to get down to the root of my problem um, and what happened in my life. And the struggle for all of us is I believe at the root of it, we focus on the fruit, all the stuff that we do, and we focus that that is the problem in our life. Pornography was a problem in my life. Alcohol and drug addiction was a problem in my life. Um, womanizing was a problem in my life. At the root of that, though, was I am my own, right? And that was that the root of the problem in the garden is that they chose to be their own, autonomous from God. God created them in harmony with them, with him, in perfect peace and shalom. Um, he created them to worship him and, and love, right? And yet... We choose to love things other than God, and that's why we struggle, because those things that we, we try and worship instead of God can't hold the weight of, of what it's meant to. They're meant to be enjoyed, but they're not meant to be God in our life. So we make that relationship a God in our life, and it fails us. We make our children a God in our life, and they don't... <laughs> They don't do what we think they should do. You know, we put so much weight on things that weren't meant to be God in our life because we chose. We come into the world as I am my own um, and we're meant to be his. We're meant to worship God and love him and love others. But we end up loving ourselves and that's where the struggle comes in because that choice in the garden was I want to be my own. I don't want to submit my life to you, God. But he created that that way to have harmony and have peace and experience the greatest joy. And yet we, we choose to be our own instead of his. But I'm saying at any time in our lives, we can come back and say, God, I'm yours. You know, that's the free will choice of love of saying, God, I'm yours. I'm going to lay down my life and I'm going to experience the life that you created me to have instead of the one that I've been trying to forge on my own. God loves you and desires the absolute best for your life. Um, just come to him. Come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. And then yoke yourself to me. Learn my ways and you'll experience something. <laughs> you'll experience what you were created to be instead of you know, forging out your own identity. Or we can continue to live our lives apart from God and be our own. Um, and the compartmentalized Christianity does not work because it's still centered in self. It's about us laying down our self-life and experiencing God living through us. Then all of a sudden, everything opens up. We experience the love of God. Then we're able to be the love of God wherever we go. We experience his peace. We have the peace of God within us. Then we don't have fear or anxiety or any of that garbage that goes along with being apart from God and autonomous from God. Come back to him and experience fullness. God bless y'all.